so hello everyone so actually in this video we'll do an another pattern okay and i want to actually you guys to understand what is this pattern i want to print this one one two one two three one two three four this pattern what do you think is happening in this pattern what can you make conclude see this is i draw i draw where i equal to one how many values i have i have one value when i equal to two i have how many values two values i equal to three how many values three values and i equal to four how many values i have four values these are spaces these are spaces one two three one two one so if you see properly in my i throw how many spaces there i have three spaces here i have two spaces then i have one spaces and here i have zero spaces can you see the pattern what we are supposed to do this is actually actually an equal, an equal to four okay just try i believe it is n minus i the spaces four spaces y n minus i what is the value of n n is four right n is four so four minus one three so i have three spaces okay come to this value so here it will, it will be four minus two two spaces here it will be four minus three one space and here i have 4 minus 4 it means no space does this make sense what are you supposed to do so see we will be requiring three while loops what why do we require three while loops one will take care of this it will go on each i row. one will take care of the spaces okay in each row i want to print n minus i spaces okay not star not number spaces okay i'm just giving you indirectly hint okay what we're supposed to do we are supposed to print spaces and then one num one while loop again to print the numbers so how many total uh, 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 these while loops we need we need three while loops okay so try it try it okay try it if you would be able to do it then that's really great okay this pattern and in case if you aren't then just come and see the video okay so i hope you try it right just can suppose that in case if you were able to do then that's really great okay yeah, so let's see how we'll do it let's see how we'll do it let me just clear this yeah okay, somehow you understood right in one row we have n minus i columns uh spaces right when i equal to one we have three spaces when i equal to two we have two spaces when i equal to three we have one space because four minus three is one right and at the last four minus four zero that means no space okay and numbers basically are dependent on i if i equal to one that means only one number when i equal to two then two numbers when i equal to three then three numbers i equal to four four numbers okay let's see how we'll do it okay come here let's see Okay. starting obviously we need an integer i why do we need this because it will take care of the rows so come here while i is less than or equal to n okay uh, and sorry i did not take the input let's take the input also in time see out enter n. okay make sense now come now we should take the values instead of n okay Okay, taken values. Now we are supposed to do our work. Come here. What is the first work? Now see, this will take care of the i throw. Okay, so at the end, just you can write i equal to i plus one, and see out and that means it will go and travel on each line. Okay, now what we are supposed to do in each line? First, print the spaces. So how will take care of the spaces? Take here like this. I equal to just sorry, just pick something like i uh, j equal to one, and right here while j is less than j is less than or equal to n minus i why am i writing like this and then see out space why am i writing like this anyone see g equal to 1 and i'm going to n minus 1 that means n value is 4 4 minus 1 3 that means i'll print from 1 to till 3 3 spaces okay in the first row i'll print all the three spaces how will i uh, traverse from 1 to again g also I need to increase right j equal to j plus 1 making sense when j will be one one is less than uh, this three yes print one space j will be again two okay two is less than three yes then print one more space increase the value of j j will be three is three less than equal to three yes it is so print one more space so three spaces have been printed now j will be j equal to j plus one four is less than equal to three because now it is actually four minus one right so four is less than equal to three no so come out of this loop okay after coming out of this loop what we're supposed to do print the number what number i numbers okay so how we'll do it let's see 
let's take something let's take int k now k will go from 1 okay while uh, k is less than or equal to i okay making sense come here print k and k equal to k plus 1 what making sense right this loop why very easy because obviously k equal to first of all i will be 1 so k's value also will be 1 so come and print 1 after that in the second row i value will be 2 so first 1 will be printed then again k will be increased from 1 to 2 and again 2 is less than or equal to 2 yes then even 2 will be printed okay i hope you understood why are we using this loop and this loop setting why we're using right so let's come and let's even check it and let's do the right after checking okay so let's first check it okay so let's print it for 4 4 making sense what's happening here we have three spaces one two three okay here we have two spaces one and two here we have one space and here we have, we have no space okay i hope i believe you understood this right let me even explain it to you just give me a second i'll just explain it to you first of all here three spaces why are these trees okay let me change the color okay why are here three spaces because here j equal to 1 okay j is less than or equal to 3 y3 three and minus 1 and minus 1 right so yes it is so print one space then j equal to j plus 1 so this will be 2 print one more space and now j will be 3 3 is less than or equal to 3 yes print one more space 3 spaces done now j will be 4 4 is less than or equal to 4 no 4 is less than or equal to 3 no then come out of this loop come here now k equal to 1 k equal to 1 okay great while k is less than or equal to y it means i value is 1 so 1 is less than or equal to 1 yes then print k print it 1 now k equal to 1 uh, k plus 1 so this became k it means it became 2 2 is less than or equal to 1 no come out of this loop also come out make increase the value of i now i value is 2 i value became 2 okay i value became 2 and now check 2 is less than or equal and then even you will come to a new line and now check come here in while loop 2 is less than or equal to, what is the value of n now 4 minus what is the value of i 2 so j is 1 1 is less than or equal to your 2 yes then print c this above part is done now so let me erase this let's go on this line so okay print one space because j equal to 1 this is j okay this is j increase the value of j j will become 2 okay 2 is less than or equal to 2 yes print one more space now see j became 3 3 is less than or equal to 2 no then come out of this loop first loop okay this 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 inner loop come and get here now k equal to 1 so k equal to 1 and i value is 2 so it would be 1 and 2 right this is k this is i right so k equal to 1 yes it is less than 2 print k okay i printed 1 next is k equal to k plus 1 so now it will be 2 and 2 is less than equal to 2 so print 2 now again go increase the value of k k became 3 3 is less than equal to 2 no then terminate this loop go and increase the value of i and go on the next line i hope you can do the remaining part it's simple right i hope it's very simple okay making sense how we're supposed to see there are n number of patterns okay the important part is to understand how we are gonna tackle it that means how you're gonna break your pattern like here we break first of all okay one will one loop will go from i uh, from like take care of the rows one will take care of the spaces one will take of take care of what to be printed making sense what we're supposed to okay now let's take one more pattern now see here is printing one one two one two three one two three four but i don't want this i want this i mean like okay seven eight nine ten what is this that means whatever number you're printing you keep on increasing don't decrease the value again from one see from one we came back to one right i don't want this that means from one if you started from one then you go all the way from two three four five six seven eight nine ten until unless that program terminates at line number n equal to 4 okay so for n equal to 3 this will be the one right what about for n equal to 3 oh, sorry this is n equal to 4 same thing three spaces two spaces one space zero space if it is n equal to 3 n equal to 3 that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 terminate making sense okay try it try this try this one also it's simple again we have to just take care of here we're printing k but now i'll give you a, a hint a hint okay don't print k 
take some value that will keep on increasing and it will never decrease okay let me just take one variable outside of your main while okay and mark it as one and you try to print that value only and after printing it increase it by one so first one will be printed then two will be printed then three will be printed and four five and six why because obviously every time we're going to print k values only okay so right now we were printing the value of k but don't print the value of k now print the value of whatever value you're going to take that means one two three four five six okay i hope you understood what i told okay do it i hope you understood the pattern what we're supposed to do this n equal to three uh, for n equal to four what will be one two three four five six seven eight nine and then do this okay right okay so i hope you tried it okay so let's understand how we'll do it you don't have to do much things just small change will do it yeah let's just see how we'll do it okay let me just erase this cancel this see i told you i gave a hint right simple don't do much things just come here okay take a value value equal to one in the beginning I mean print value okay instead of printing k print value okay and then print make value equal to value plus one just this small change why see every item every line is printing k elements right I, I mean like i elements so obviously this number of elements will be taken care by i uh, by k and i okay if i equal to two then print two elements that means k equal to one and even k equal to two print two elements right but in the previous time a previous pattern we were printing the value of k but here we are going to print the value of whatever value it is that means first one will be printed then again value of one will be increased by one okay second time when it will be printed it will be printed two okay so let's run it and then again see the graph okay so let's run it for four okay let's run for four. making sense what's happening just a simple change change the whole pattern right understanding what's happening let's understand what's happening let me take the pen wait now let's understand see here first of all you're like okay even value is one even i equal to one i came and printed this i this is gonna be how many spaces and minus i so three spaces been printed right now print what is value of c i came here int equal to k equal to 1 is k 1 less than equal to 1 yes now don't print k print what is value so what is value value is 1 so okay i print 1 great now values increase from 1 to 2 okay value first was containing 1 now i have made value equal to value plus 1 so it became 2 Making sense okay great now see again i came and i checked i increased the value of k because the condition that is being checked is k okay so k is less than equal to 2 is less than equal to 1 no it is false so don't run anything on this loop come and change the line make the value of i equal to i plus 1 so i'm at this line now remember value of uh, value of value is 2 only okay so i came here i made two spaces why two spaces because n minus i spaces n is 4 i is 2 so two spaces will be printed then see the important part is i came here and i'm checking 1 is less than equal to i that means i equal to this is value of k and this value of i right but right now my important part is i'm not printing k i'm printing value so what is content what is the thing that is inside my value it's two so print two okay then make value of equal to value plus one so it became three now and also k's value is increased by one so now k will be increased by one so it became two is two less than or equal to two yes then come and print again value what is value now three so again three is printed now again k is even value is increased so 3 became 4 and even k is increased. So 3 is less than or equal to 2. No. Come out of this loop, increase the value of i and do this part. And again, after you come to this line number 3, again k will initialize from 1 and it will go till i. i value is 3. So you're going to print 3 numbers, but these 3 numbers will be based on your value. Okay. So I hope you can do the dry run. Okay. Simple. Right. So I hope you understood these programs. See, patterns are simple. I mean, like if you understand, if you can break them into parts. They're simple, okay? So I hope you understood this program. Okay, so see you guys in the next video, okay? Thank you.